Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, my name is Alberto. In this video I wanted to show you a little bit of what I did with the loom I showed you last time. So I went to my favorite yarn store because I decided to do some sort of like scarf shawl thingy for myself. I love this yarn store because it's so small but it has like this lovely cute vibe and it just makes me feel relaxed. Uh, I picked up some merino wool in a sort of lace fingering weight. I prepared this uh, broom handle thing uh, for a direct warping because I saw it on YouTube and it seemed like a good method. So I turned my loom the other way around and prepared for the warp. And the distance you see now is basically gonna be the length of the whole project. So I wanted to go for sort of a classic uh, men's scarf length of about like meter and a half uh, because I decided also to use most of the width of my loom, uh, which is quite wide because it's a 32 inch. So I didn't wanna go extra extra crazy long because I thought that might be a bit too much and then I just started passing all my yarn through the reeds which are the spaces in the heddle the, the thing for the weaving in the middle you see the, the white plastic bit and I decided to try and make some sort of like fake tartan pattern because tartan is a different type of weave that it's a bit difficult to achieve on a rigid handle so it's, it's more of a, a plaid let's say and I use this uh, light gray topish gray and black and uh, I marked the beginning and end on my reed and then sort of put all the yarn throw like so. This took quite a while because it is quite a thin yarn so it, I did the process over a, a day and a half with some help then I started to roll my yarn into place and again if you have someone to help you it's a lot easier but you could do it by yourself. I did sort of um, braid it onto itself quickly to leave it there for the day after. And then I keep brushing it while I roll it up in order to make sure that the tension is as even as possible. Although still there, I still had a couple problems, but overall it's a good option. And then Again, uh, as I saw in another video, I used uh, these sort of like kitchen mats thingy that I cut to the width of my loom because uh, paper I tried and it's a bit slippery for my taste and the cardboard uh, thingies, um, again, I did try and they're fine. I just... For me, this keeps it more even uh, and easier to work with. So I just started rolling my yarn onto the back beam of the loom, keeping, as I said, as even attention as possible. Keep brushing the yarn as you go. And rolling it and keeping it as tight as possible. Uh, this is wool, so it's not going to be crazy tight, but uh, because it still has a, a bounce compared to cotton and other types of yarn. But obviously, if you keep it as even as possible, you would have less problems later. 
also obviously noticed while I was editing, I forgot the to film the part where I was slaying the reed, as they say, uh, which means that right now I have two threads in every slit or space of the reed. And in order to weave a plain weave, you then have to turn the loom around and with a thin hook, you pass every thread, every other thread into a hole. So then you have, uh, for each space, you have a thread in a space and a thread in a hole. So when you move your reed on top and on the bottom, then you go and create the, the weave itself. But yeah, again, this took some time. But when I was done, I tied all the ends of the little bundles. I tried to make quite small bundles because it helps not having huge gaps. And again, this whole process lasted quite a bit. It took some time, uh, but I'm quite happy with the result. This is the first time I actually used most of the width of the loom and it was a bit more challenging. But yeah, I am quite happy on how the whole thing came out. So right now I'm tightening every single bundle by itself in order to check that I have an even tension all over my different bundles of yarn. Again, it's important to keep it as even as possible. And when this process is done, we will finally be able to start weaving, uh, which in this case is going to be in the next video. I split it up not to, to not have a huge long video. Uh, so hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in seeing more, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It's a great help. And I'll see you next time. Bye.